Hey everyone, so um, this is 2.2. I'm gonna run through how to do it really quickly so that you uh, you you know what you're doing. So 2.2 is um, you're gonna use the symbols that you created in 2.1 and you're gonna use them to make your symbolist um, portrait. Um, so I have my symbols ready to go and um, Edio wants you to do this on a piece of charcoal paper. So I have my charcoal paper here and they also say to rip out a piece of charcoal paper, but I actually like to keep the paper in, in, the, in the pad if I can. That way, you know, all my drawings are together and safe. And um, Edio also asks you to use your oil pastels as well as your uh, regular pastels and um, some uh, charcoal pencils, eraser, uh, and the blending stumps. But, you know, I'm saying you can use any of the materials that you have that you wanna use. Like for instance, I do not like the chalk pastels. They're too dry and they kinda, I don't know, I just really don't like the dust and I don't like the way they feel. It's like, for me, it's kinda like when you scratch your nails on a board or, there's some weird sound. I just don't, I just don't like them. So I'm going to use the oil pastels. I have an eraser here. Whoops. And I have a pencil and uh, you can use markers. You can use paint. You can use whatever you want. I want you to use the materials that you feel the most comfortable with. You know, it would be nice if you, you know, tried all the materials that you get because that way you just kind of like learn about more materials, but you know, I just know that I really, I really don't like chalk pastels. All right, so um, the first thing you need to do is to do your portrait, right? And so I don't want this to be really intimidating. If you feel really comfortable making a portrait of yourself, then do it. You know, the the um, symbolists they would make a portrait um, of themselves in profile, right? So they would have, you know, like their hair their forehead going into their nose, lips, chin, all that, right? Portrait in profile on the side of your paper. What I would suggest if you want to do it very easily is to um, have somebody take a picture of your profile, right? And then print it out or have it up on your screen on your computer and get your piece of paper and trace it, right? So you can trace your profile onto the sheet. That's a really easy way to do it. Now, also, I know we talked about how the symbolist painters, they also made it very dark and eerie. And, and that is like this, this um, kind of like goth thing that was happening at the time. And if your style is goth, then you can make it look as dark and mysterious as you want. My style is more graphic. So I'm going to make my, uh, my symbolist portrait a little bit more graphic than than what the symbolists do. So we are contemporary artists. So we are capable of um, doing whatever we want, right? Like this is about you. So make this look about, about you, right? So um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is like one thing that I really identify a lot is with my, with my eyes. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put my eyes on here like as if this whole thing is my face. So um, I'm just gonna kind of sketch out some eyes. So these are kind of like the way that I, I teach how to draw eyes, right? So first you make circles, right? And then you're gonna make your iris in the middle of your eye, right? So that's that, right? And then your eyelid kind of, I know that my eyelids might, like the corner of my eye is a little bit lower than my than my pupil. I know that, so I'm gonna draw a line. And that these this is kind of like the corner of my eye, right? And then my eyelid comes up like this, right? Kind of like a half moon, like this, right over the eye. And then um, this is my upper eyelid, upper eyelid, right like this. And then here is my lower eyelid goes over to the corner like this, right? And then there's a gap for where your eyelid is. So I'm going to put that in and I'm going to erase 
all the other stuff that I don't want in this picture, like this. Right, and then I have, I basically have my two eyes, right? So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put some eyelashes. I'm gonna put some, uh, some eyelashes here. Right, going up. Eyelashes on the top, kind of, are like little check marks, right? And uh, you can do whatever kind of portrait you wanna do. Right, if you want to do something that looks kind of realistic, go for it. If not, you know, you know, do do you do you. It does not have to be like this really, really great work of art. It just is kind of like just an idea of like who you are as a person. All right. So I think that's really all I'm gonna do for my portrait is um just have like my eyes all right so now i'm gonna put in my necker cube and i want my i want my um my symbols to kind of like be really big and overlap right so i'm gonna put my necker cube over here i want to put it at an angle so i'm gonna tilt i'm gonna tilt my paper all right here is the one square my necker cube and then here is my other square for my Necker cube. And I'm just gonna have everything just kind of like overlap, totally not worried about it at all. Like that. And then um, I think I'm gonna make my, um, my peace sign up here. So I'm going to have the peace sign be slightly off from the center. Like that. All right, there's my there's my peace sign. Like that. And now I'm gonna put in my um, my snowflake and I'm gonna have that coming into the center at an angle too. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna have, oops, that's gonna line up too much with the corner of my Necker cube. Okay. I'm just kind of like making things line up a little bit better. Okay. Good thing that I have an eraser. All right, that looks so much better. That looks so much better, okay. All right. So now I'm going to work on um, coloring this in and I'm going to turn off 
my video and I'm going to come back and show you what I got in a little while you know, after I color it in. And, uh, and uh, just remember that you have to color in the entire surface of your artwork. Don't leave anything white unless it's being left white because it really is white. All right. All right, everybody, I'll be right back. So I have finished coloring it in pretty much. I'm just going to add some black lines just to make uh, some of the uh, elements kind of pop out a little bit more. Um, so the um, the oil pastels do get very smeary. So I feel like you have to really be kind of careful with the oil pastels. I I remember that you know you have to clean off the pastels when you start to color into like another color. Like I was trying to blend the blue and the the blue and the red together to make a like a purple color. And uh, yeah, so you have to you have to make sure that you clean, keep your pastels clean so that they don't smear as much. But you know. Oh, well, live and learn. So let me just finish outlining some of these elements. And this is my finished 2.2 symbolist portrait project. And uh, now I can just go ahead and snap a picture of it and upload it to Edio to 2.2 and collect collect the 100 so just to reiterate you know you're making a a, a portrait drawing um so you can to, you don't have to approach this like the symbolist did the symbolist kind of um were much more graphic a, a much more kind of gothic and uh you know, kind of made uh, their portraits look very kind of dark and and mysterious looking. Um, that's not my style. And I want you definitely to kind of play around with what your style is. Uh, don't, I don't, if you want to copy exactly what the symbolist did, go ahead and go for it. That's fine. But I also want you to feel like you're more than welcome to um, make it your own as well. So um, I have my a part of my face. So my portrait is my eyes. I have my eyes here. And then I have three symbols that represent me. So I have peace sign for peace and uh, the Necker cube for the illusion of art. And then the snowflake for kindness, because I like to practice kindness as much as possible. And, uh, and then I kind of have a color wheel in the background. And that's also to reaffirm like my love of color and art. All right, so that is my 2.2 um, finished project. And I'm going to take a picture of it and upload it to Edio. And uh, good luck if you have any questions or any problems with your symbolism portrait, just let me know.